What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Uh, let me get this stuff out of the corner here. I don't wanna creep it in. This is the box. Obviously what we have here is Ronnie Feig from Kith or Kith and Ronnie Feig and Asics doing a collaboration on a Gel Light 3. The box will give it away. It is the Volcano 2.0. Um, color on the box is burgundy, size is 10.5. Made in Japan, I tend to go with my TTS. Uh, they do feel to run a little bigger. So be careful of that if you're trying to pick them up. Uh, I took the shoes out of the box already Ready, but this box is similar to the New Balance, which is when they started doing this for their special box outside of the enormous special box they did for the 25th or the uh, five year anniversary. Uh, the Kiklabes, and you got this with the Diablo as well. Let me move this out of the way. So, obviously, what we have here, I'm gonna bring a little closer so we can just get right into the review is the uh, Volcano 2.0 on a Gel Light 3. Uh, very fire. Volcano, probably my favorite Gel Light 5 uh, of all time. The colorway just hit me at the right time, and uh, I'm a big fan of the red, the pinks, and the way that the color pops. You have a couple different iterations on this shoe, obviously because it's a Gel Light 3. I'm just gonna go over the detail, and then if you guys want, I'll throw in the time for when I do the side-by-side -side with the Gel Light 5. So, let's get into the detailing effect. So you got this, ah, oh, man. Made in Japan, they uh, they kind of stick you with this quality thing for, I believe they were 250 if I'm not mistaken, but you got a different feel towards the toe cap and this burgundy new buck across this panel here. Your eye stays in the orange. You got mesh toe box rolling into the lateral side here. You got a nice brush suede and the Asics logo on the upper. Underneath that, you got an orange hit in the flat portion, and underneath the underlay on all of that is another mesh hit in the burgundy. Your grommet area is in like a, uh, it's more of a, like a candy red or a red with burgundy grommets for the lacing area. Overall, very, very clean. I like the way the shoe pops. Uh, roll into the heel portion. You got Gel Light 5 embossed there, or Gel Light 3, I'm sorry. Gel Light 3 embossed there, rolling into the heel portion. You got part of the neoprene sock for your ankle and then rolling into the Achilles area. You got the upper end neoprene, you got an orange hit with the Asics logo in blue. Let me tap this, get a little focus on the heel window, which is burgundy as well with the gel blue underneath. Uh, heel cup, you got this red, which matches kind of like the uh, grommet area rolling into the medial side, which is mirrored from the lateral side, so I'll keep that in the bottom portion of the view. Tap my focus back on here and flip this out of the way. Like I said, it's mirrored, so you got your brush weight on the Asics logo, orange underlay, and uh, mesh underlay underneath all of that. Uh, burgundy, new buck across the whole entire portion going across like you would get on the lateral side. Pretty much simplistic. Neoprene sock liner in a, I would say a light orange. I wouldn't say it's pink, even though it kind of feels like a pink. I, in contrast to the other one, it kind of looks more like a light orange. I'll show you what I mean momentarily. You got rope laces inside this bad boy, but before we get into the extras, I'll show you the inside of the shoe, which is more of a bright red. Um, you can't really see it because I can see it on the camera right here. It looks a little bit more orange, but it actually is a red. You got Ronnie on the left footbed and then Feig on the other. Let me just pull that out and show it to you real quick and then we'll do the extras. Uh, like I mentioned before, you got rope laces in there in a burgundy and a light pink. Kind of matches up with the sock line so I guess it is more of a pink hue. Um, drop this down real quick and pick up the extras. You got a burgundy rope, a burgundy flat, and a eh, salmon, salmon flat, whatever have you. Uh, midsole goes into a sail or bone. It is not white, definitely not white. It has a salmon hit and the Asics logo, which has, I like that little addition in there, or I just like that that little addition of the color. Uh, outsole, you got red, sail again, and navy. Very, very fire aesthetic. I will say one thing before I get into the, the other. I wish that he would have done this colorway on the Diablo. I feel like the Diablo would have had more success, number one, even though the shoe was fire by itself. Um, Might have went like the safer route. I, I kind of feel as though this is a no-brainer. Like, this this was easy. He could have did that Diablo colorway on the Gel Light 3, nice and summery, and really blown it out of the water with this colorway on the Diablo. But that's just me. It's a preference thing, I guess. Let me keep one out of frame. I'll keep the one that's opened up kind of in frame. And I will grab the Gel Light. Uh, let me do this one. So we'll do the Gel Light 5. So the Gel Light 5, I'm going to bring it right real close for you guys. You can see a couple of differences right off the bat. Uh, let me do this here. I'm going to flip it to the medial and lateral, and I'm going to zoom in just a touch if I can get to the lens. As you can see, the Asics logo are two different hues. The orange is a little bit more bold on the Gel Light 5, which is my right hand. So this one right here is the Gel Light 5. This here is the Gel Light 3. Uh, it is DS. That's why it looks that good. I did beat the shit 
the actual shit out of my uh, original pair and then I searched for a DS pair and I've kind of been holding on to them without wearing them for a while now, but I feel like it's about that time since we got the Jelly 3 now. But either way, a couple of other differences you can see is the material on the toe cap area. I'm gonna brush it just a little bit. I can, there you go, you can see a little bit. There it is, right there, and then back again, whereas on this one, you won't get that as much. I'm pretty sure after a little bit of wear and a little bit of brushing, you'll be able to see it more. Even though it is a different price point and a different build on the shoe, I just prefer the quality on the Gel Light 5 a little bit more. Uh, you can see the burgundies are a little bit different on the toe box. I can see it, I don't know if you guys can see it. So there's a deeper, a deeper burgundy on the Gel Light 5 than there is on the, maybe it's just because it's newer, I don't know. I don't think there's any fading. These things have been in a box the whole time, but it, it definitely feels like a deeper uh, burgundy on the toe cap or underneath the mesh on the Gel Light 5. You can see the red hits are definitely a little bit off as well. So there's a deeper red in the suede on the Gel Light 5. You can see me going back and forth. It looks a little ashy, but once you brush the other way, it comes right back to life. Uh, you don't get that on the Gel Light 3. All that new buck keeps it very flat and it's definitely a different feel. Um, there's no grommets on this one, obviously. And I don't know if, yeah, you can see it. So the sock liner is a different hue as well. You can see that there's a little bit brighter of a red in there. I'll show you in the, in the logo. So this looks more orange, whereas this looks more red. Uh, the liner itself is, uh, is a different hue as well. Uh, the liner on the inside is a deeper red. Uh, you got a navy footbed on this one also, but I don't really care about that. The oranges are almost identical, which uh, I thought was pretty dope. Uh, the navies are also identical as well. Uh, you can see the ash back here, but I haven't brushed them in a while. But you can see the suede action happening on the Gel Light 5, whereas you're not gonna see it as much, if at all, on the Gel Light 3. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the differentials. You got the same thing on the uh, outsole. You got navy, you got, actually the Gel Light 5 is more white, it's actually white. The uh, sail or bone, and then you got the red towards the forefront of the shoe. And uh, I think that's pretty, and you got another like salmon hit on the midsole of the Gel Light 5, but that's to be expected. That's just how they designed the uh, Gel Light 5. Either way, I hope you guys like the review. You also got a couple of extras with the uh, Gel Light third with the Gel Light Five. You got two more rope laces, no flats with the Gel Light Five, so you got more of a uh, orange and uh, burgundy rope. You got a burgundy rope to match the other one, and oh yeah. I don't know if I showed you guys this also. So you can see the rope laces are actually a little bit different as well. I'll bring it a little bit closer. So the, the Gel Light 5 has a deeper burgundy to match the rest of the shoe. That's kind of how I, I noticed that there was a deeper burgundy on the Gel Light 5 was matching up the laces. You can see that the left side on the Gel Light 3 is a little bit brighter. I'll bring it a little bit closer. You can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, right side Gel Light 5 here as opposed to the Gel Light 3 in my left hand. You can see that the reds are a little bit different or the burgundies are a little bit different. Uh, let's get into those extras real quick. So I showed you the laces, the laces, and you also got super invisible socks with these as well. Yeah, they're still dead stock. I have like three pairs because you were able to buy them without buying the shoes. So I got a whole bunch of these. So I, I kind of just kept these dead stock uh, when I got this pair because they still came with the, uh, the socks as well. So like I said, if you guys like the review, let me zoom back out. Wrong way. Get you right there. If you guys like the review, shoot me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, hit the comment section. Um, I will be doing an LPU this week, and I have another show, hopefully, that will get filmed today. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just want to add some more stuff to the show. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I think I'm out of here. Peace.